So this is how I teach recall. Okay, now before the video begins, this is how you teach recall and not how you prove it and improve it and strengthen it. Okay, this is when you have a puppy and you're trying to teach them recall. This is how you introduce them to recall and how you teach them. So we get them to sit, we walk a few paces back, we recall, we use our hand to lure them into a sit position, and then we reward once they're in that sit position. We're going to use our good marker if you want them to stay in that sit position. If we just want to be testing our recall and practicing, we might use yes, which means they're going to come and act access a reward, and as soon as they get the reward, they can go off to their own uh, free time. So that's how we, uh, we recall, okay? So we're going to say our dog's name. So in this case, I'm using Ralph. Ralph, come. If I want him to maintain the sit when he gets to me, I'm going to say good. And if I want him to just come to me for, for practice, I'm going to say yes. And then he can go off and do his own thing, okay? It's important to have the two because we don't want our dog to automatically think that once they come back to us, they can just bounce away and run away again. Sometimes I need them to come to me, stay in that sit position so I can put a lead on them maybe, wait for a car to go by, wait for a dog to go by, whatever it may be. So it's important that they are able to come to us and maintain that sit position with that eye contact. So as the video has been playing, you can, you've been seeing that I've been putting him in a sit position, walking a few paces back, using his name, then a word come and he comes to me. Sometimes I release him straight away, sometimes make him wait a little bit, and then I release him or I, I put him back into a sit position. Now this, this is how we introduce and teach recall from, from the start, okay? Now you can see there I widen the duration, uh, the, the length of the recall a little bit. Quite a, the first five or six or seven, I was doing quite short ones. That one I went the full length of, of the video screen. And um, so it's important that we change the, the length of the recall as well while we're practicing this, okay? There are many uh, like tricks you can do to encourage our dog to come back to us. So you'll see sometimes as well, I can walk backwards or run backwards and that encourages our dog to come in nice and close to us because it makes them feel like they're chasing us. Okay, chase games are really good. But we remember that we always want to be chased and never to be chasing. Now, one of the things for me that is really underappreciated and under underdone is that you have to do this stage in different locations and different environments. Still very low distracting environment, but just different environments so your dog understands the command and doesn't associate it with the environment. So here I'm doing the exact same thing maybe some slightly longer distances. I'm just getting him to come to me, sometimes working on that duration, okay? So when I get him, when I'm recalling him and I'm saying good, I want him to maintain that sit when he gets to me, the first reward is for the recall. And then I'm gonna pay him two, three, maybe even four more times for the, the duration and the sit that he's staying there, okay? We wanna make sure that he likes being around us and that he realizes when he recalls back to us, good things happen. So if he, so in future, if he sees a distraction or a bird or another dog of a person and we recall him away, we want him to think that him coming back to us is more of a, of a reward than going after that dog. Okay. So again, keeping up this engagement is really, really important. But here it is, just simple how we introduce and teach our dog Regal.